man, look at this thing go, y'all. Yeah, we got the Pro Boat U19 on the block. All right, today we're going to be running a secondary cooling line. Uh, not going to, I'm not going to just run a line like an extra large cooling line straight to my electronics like I normally do. I was going to try something a little bit different, something I've never done before. Um, we've got a blast pickup back here. I, I made this in the last video. If you hadn't seen that, check it out. But this blast pickup actually adds a little bit of weight to the transom of my boat, okay? And uh, you guys, if you don't know, a, a hydroplane needs to be light as you possibly can. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these carbon fiber bow and arrow tubes as a hard line to my electronics up forward, all right? These carbon fiber tubes are basically half the weight of the same size and extra large cooling line. So it's going to be a lightweight addition to the boat. It should look pretty cool in the boat and uh, keep the back of the boat light. Um, so y'all stick around, stick around. We're going to kind of do this together. I've never run hard lines, so it's going to be a, a learning experience, a learning curve for me. I'm also going to show you guys how to remove a fuel line barb, through hole barb, without damaging or messing up the barb. All right, so stick around, stick around. Big B here with Ironclad RC. Uh, I, I took the stock cooling line out, all right, and I'm going to be running some larger cooling lines, okay? And uh, I've got to get this grommet right here out of the boat. All right, I got to get that grommet out. So I think I got to, I might have a, a quick trick for you guys if you're trying to do the same thing. Uh, remove this grommet from a plastic or fiberglass, well, fiberglass boat. You wouldn't want to do this with plastic because it might melt it. It's going to be loud. I got my new blast pickup kind of pushed down so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to heat this up. Red hot. Alright, that should do it. I'm going to stick it right in this. Alright, just kind of let it let it heat that aluminum grommet up. Okay, then I got a little rubber mallet. I'm going to use the big end of this drift to tap out the grommet. See if that does it. Boom, it worked. did it that freaking did it good deal yeah yeah that's pretty cool right pretty freaking cool huh yeah yeah that thing was stuck tighter than a dick hat band man i couldn't get it out i couldn't tap it out so that heat man it heated up the the adhesive and uh boom it came out all right um so now let's get some weights on this ose tube all right and my carbon fiber tube okay let's get away i'll show you how much lighter this carbon fiber tube is it's the same length okay same exact length actually the ose tube is a little shorter than the carbon fiber tube all right um it's the same as the black tube all right i just don't want to cut my black tube i just happen to have a piece of this same length so let's do some weights all right ose tube 16.64 grams okay 16.64 grams the carbon fiber tube is 8.2 grams it's half the freaking weight of this ose tubing okay i'm contemplating on where to put my secondary through hole okay for my water cooling tube okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm thinking about going on the left side of the boat all right from the rudder right to right here basically right beside the rudder all right if i do that i can run my carbon fiber tube basically down the length of the boat here all right i've actually got another one that i can cut uh another arrow i can cut a little bit longer go all the way up to say right here and just have a little short run of tube to the esc and then have my exit coming out of the esc and over this way um, my second option would be to put the carbon fiber tube right on top basically zip tie my two tubes together boom all right boom like that and uh done all right put my my through hole right here 
I also thought about going on the other side of the motor, running it basically, well that might not even work at all. Guys, um, I've got an Offshore Electrics 150 here, which is basically a fly color with a cat pack, alright, nothing new. Um, this is the Dynamite 120, stock, stock ESC with this boat. This thing's got some power now, it's got some power, it's got potential, okay? A lot of guys are having trouble with this speed controller going out on them due to heat, okay? Um, and the, the speed control's got plenty of power, alright? It's not a bad speed control by no means. But look at the difference in the nipple hole, the intake, water intake and water exit holes on this speed control compared to this speed control, okay? Granted, this is a 150, this is a 120, but all things considered the same, okay? Look at the size difference, all right? The 120, the holes are like a quarter the size of this 150, all right? I think, personally, I think this is why this speed control is getting hot, all right? The, the water flow is being restricted at the nipple, all right? At the nipple, okay? Yes, the smaller holes will speed the water flow up. Less volume, faster moving flow, okay? But, if you oversize the holes on this speed control, I think we could have a faster moving flow of volume, a volume more volume more flow cooler speed control bye bye warranty oh i'm probably pushing it you guys i'm probably pushing it um this is the fourth size up i've got a stepped up drill bit set here this is the fourth size up all right i opened the hole up quite a bit already and um i hope i'm not pushing it i'm gonna try this one all right i hope i'm not pushing it oh i'm pushing it i am definitely pushing it <laughs> All right, so I got it drilled out. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, so now I need to make sure there's no debris in in the flow path. All right, open the flow up to 2.5 millimeters, okay? By opening up the holes on this speed control, I voided my warranty. If this thing blows up, it's on me. I take full responsibility. That's considered a modification. Pro Boat Horizon Hobby, they will not warranty it. Just so you guys know. Basically, my two options was to run a tube on top of this one or run a tube on the left side all the way the length of the boat coming from the front of the ESC. Um, I got my ESC loose here and I don't think I'm going to be able to run it from the front because if I put a bigger motor in, a longer motor or a bigger thicker water jacket it's going to put some pressure on these lines right here and uh, possibly kink it off so I don't think I'm going to go this route on this side I think I'm just going to stack it right up on top of this tube right here run my hole right here boom I'm done all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it I'm just going to kind of fast forward through the process of drilling the hole and I'll slow it down once I get to the tube itself all right <music> Let's get the carbon fiber tube on our uh, our cooling line. This particular carbon fiber tube is basically the same freaking size as the extra large tube. Basically. You see that? The walls of the carbon fiber tube are thinner than my silicone tube. Um, so I need to stretch out my silicone tube a little bit so I can get it on, on the carbon fiber tube. I'm just using some needle nose pliers. Stretching it out.
all right i want to leave this a little bit long because i may need to come out on my brace my bracket or i might even have to go closer to the bracket shorten up this tube or whatever so i'm actually going to leave this a little bit long for right now just to give me some tunability later on all right like i said i want to keep my tubes light uh, or as short as i can to keep the boat light that looks pretty good all right that ain't gonna come off that's good let's go ahead and get this run to the esc here so uh, i drilled it out all right i gotta open that hole up because i'm just gonna put my tube right through it boom done um same thing on this side i think i'm gonna put one exit here and one exit over there that way i can distinguish you know if um if my if my blast pick up and picking up water i can distinguish if which one which one's not putting water out you got me um so i think i'm gonna run the esc basically back through the stock location and the motor i think i'm gonna go basically the same route but the opposite opposite side you got me um that should work that should work damn that looks good that freaking looks good y'all that looks clean man that looks clean well it's a freaking mess but that looks clean all right so i've got my hole drilled to fit the whole tube all right it fits in there tight very tight it's perfect you know if you got a certain bend you're trying to get in your cooling tube all right what you can do is twist it okay twist it and you'll keep a certain path all right twist it that way it'll it sh it'll twist it around this battery tray and go into the motor all right see how i twisted it and it kind of holds that that path all right that's about the path i want it to go around my battery i'm gonna cut it right here final answer all right and to hold this tube in the boat i've got a piece of copper tube it's the same diameter of my inside diameter all right you see that okay so what i do to keep this tube from coming out the boat is i'll push basically press fit this brass tube in my exit tube right here press fit it in there till it's flush all right now look at that see the end of the tube not moving all right that's not going to pull out okay also that that tube right there i've got it kind of rounded on the outside all right and uh when it ex when the water exits the boat it's actually going to pressurize the whole system just a little bit all right that tube is basically the same size inside diameter of the black tube but it should it should pressurize the system just enough that we'll see a stream of water shoot out of our cooling system all right instead of like a dribble of solid flow of water we'll have a, a stream shoot out all right when you when you cut the end of these pipes the outsides rounded okay when you use a cutter like this it kind of rounds the outside and that will allow the the water hopefully hopefully it, it will allow the water to stream out of our of our cooling exit hopefully all right so let me unplug this guy here okay we're gonna run it in the same way i always run my tubes in from the outside and then hook plumb them in from the inside all right just run them from the outside see i got them cut super tight super tight okay it's going to go around the battery tray just like the other side all right and connect to the esc <laughs> D U N D. <laughs> it turned out good, you guys. Oh, it looks bad to the bone, son. Uh, that black, the black lines, it kind of gives it like a nice sleek look, you know, uh, nice and tidy. Okay, I changed out my TP power motor for 
the dynamite motor okay i took my tp power motor it had a funny sound when i was spooling it up on the bench and um the the wrap you see right there on the inside of the stator there the kevlar has come unwrapped on my magnet and it must have happened the last run out i had it in one of my truggies and uh yeah so we're not gonna be able to use this unfortunately uh, i was kind of excited about using that motor um i don't feel comfortable running with the kevlar coming off the magnets like that it might sling a freaking magnet but um i got the propeller on the balancer all right i'm thinning that bad boy out all right she's about balanced okay all right almost there almost there all right that should cool our temperatures down i also decided to run the straight straight tube to the blast instead of the curved tube all right um with the straight tube i should be able to get it just behind the tip of the propeller blades all right um i also moved it on the other side of the bracket the the, the strut bracket all right hopefully that'll work all right um the the blast pickup eh, it might be hit or miss i might um i definitely want to get a dual pickup rudder and i made the blast pickup so i can go ahead and get dual cooling to the boat whether or not it's going to work the way I want it to work, now that's a whole different story. But the nice thing about this is I didn't have to drill no holes in the boat. I just used the, the existing bolt to bolt it all up. Boom, we got a secondary coolant. Okay, we'll be tuning this the next time we go out with the boat. Um, I think the carbon fiber tubes, they got extra large bore. Okay, it should supply plenty of water volume to my electronics. All right, uh, we drilled out the holes on the speed control hoping i hope that it gets water in and out quicker okay um does the speed control need it no okay it don't need that but anything i like i think or i feel i could do to help the performance of a boat or cooling of a boat i'll, I'll try it you know i voided my warranty if something happens to the speed control I can't I can't claim a warranty I, I modified the speed control just so you guys know that I want to make that clear to everybody um, so yeah man I think it looks great I think it looks freaking awesome it looks clean it looks nice and tidy uh, we saved some weight with the carbon fiber tubes added some weight here uh, this weighs about 18 grams I weighed it up um, so yeah it is basically weighs the exact same as it would if I did a full run of the extra large coolant tube, <laughs> basically. But, like I said, I went with the lighter carbon fiber tubes to try to compensate for the extra weight I added with the blast pickup. So, um, always when you're done with a coolant run, always blow through it. Make sure you you can hear the the flow, uh, airflow. You know, make sure it's all clear of a, obstruction. I blew my 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 nipples, my my heat sink out. So that's good. So um, I'm gonna let you guys go. I know it's a freaking long video. Those of you who are still here, you guys are the freaking bomb. All right. Um, I really enjoy this boat. I had a freaking good time fabricating and running the cooling for this boat. The motor is super simple to take out, swap motors out with. Um, Pro Boat did an amazing job with this boat. You guys, if you're, if you're interested in the boat, there's a link in the description. Pick it up, man. It's a freaking blast. Uh, we'll have it on the water. I got everything run. I feel comfortable. We can do some success runs, a couple success passes with it. Um, got some new Spectrum Smart batteries, 50 and 100 C packs. So uh, we should be able to get some speeds with it. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel.